Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Allen Design. In this video, I'll be going over how you can easily align your margin to your rows, columns, and baseline grid in Adobe InDesign. For this project, my document size is 8.5 inches by 11 inches, which equals 612 points by 792 points. The aspect ratio for this document is 1 to 1.3. You can easily calculate the aspect ratio by dividing the long end of your document by the short end, in this case 11 by 8.5. That means for this document, I want 13 rows and 10 columns, and that will give me the most square-like grid for my layout. So 13 rows times 4, which are how many baselines are going to be in with each row, that equals 52, plus 12 gutters equals 64 lines, and that is how many baselines you have inside of your margin, at least for my document. Next, we want to apply how many baselines we have by our leading, and I want to use 11-point leading. So 64 times 11 equals 704 points. Next, we want to subtract 704, which is the height of our page within the margins, by the overall page height, which is 792 points. So 792 minus 704 equals 88. 88 is the leftover point amount we have outside of our margins. So all I'm going to do is divide that by two, which leaves me 44 points. And that is how I'm going to distribute my top and bottom margins. Now let's head over to InDesign and apply these calculations to our document. In InDesign, here is my document and my document size. The first thing I want to do is to go up to the top left of my ruler, right click and change measurements from inches to points. And now let's go up to layout, margins and columns. And I said I wanted 44 points for my margin. And that's good for all around, I'll hit OK. And then let's go back up to layout, create guides. I said I wanted 13 rows. You want your gutter to be the same size as your baseline. And for me, I want 11 points, 10 columns, and again, 11 for the gutter. And we want to make sure the fit to guides to margin is selected. And now we can hit OK. Last step is to go up to our preferences and grid preferences. Make sure that it is starting at zero and is relative to top margin and let's just match the 11 points for the baseline increment by every 11 and i'll make this 50 percent for the threshold and then just hit ok now we can just go up to view grids and guides and turn on show baseline grid and as you can see when we zoom in all of our rows columns margin and baseline grid are all aligned perfectly and that's how you can easily align your layout grid in Adobe InDesign. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.